and that I'm pretty sure is a diamond. It's a four easy, but look at the size of the horns on that thing. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. In yesterday's video, some of you guys were saying to go hunt a water buffalo with a 20 gauge loaded with slugs. And that's what we're going to do. All right, so we just got eyes on a nice male water buffalo. He's out here at about 50 yards out. We have the 20 gauge. Now we're going to try for a spine double lung shot on him. Let's crouch up, see if we can't get him to slow down here. Or the puma's going to come and try and scare him away. But we definitely went for one, hopefully, lung shot out of that. Yeah, we definitely got a lung shot. Let's watch him. Oh, another water buffalo. We got two good hits into him. Let's put our scope back on and see if we can't get one more good or at least a decent hit into this water buffalo. Hold up. Hold up. I will take that. That should bring him down. We have another water buffalo down there. What is that? And uh oh! All right, we definitely have two more hits into that one there. I don't know if that one's gonna go down just yet, but let's see if we can put one more into him. Now, we were trying to track down the first water buffalo, and then we saw the puma, and then we saw two more water buffalo. So hopefully we can find this first water buffalo, then we'll get back on the other water buffalo, and maybe find the puma. At this point, I'm not really worried about the puma. Here is the water buffalo though. This is the first one we shot. I would say you probably hit it at least twice in the intestine, maybe once in the single lung. We'll find out. 306 score, 0% of the quick kill. We actually did get a single lung hit and a stomach. And then we ended up getting a flesh hit. So, ooh. 43 yards out to the spine. We didn't get the penetration we wanted. That would have been a perfect spine shot. That's a nice buffalo as well. 307 score, total score of 707. All right, so they're right there. Let's see if we can't get a shot on one of these. That's a female there. I think this is the six hard that we need. Went for a double lung shot. All right, so we just spotted another water buffalo. I believe this might be one of the same ones we saw from before. Either way, we're gonna have to take a shot on him pretty soon. It's a six hard and he should come to about 70, maybe 60 from us, which would definitely give us a shot. We'll be zeroed in for 80. Oh, yeah, he's definitely coming this way. Let's get ready. We're looking at 100 right there. So depending on how far he's actually going to come. Oh, he stopped at 80. All right, that's what I kind of figured. He's going to hold up at 80, which could still give us a shot if he holds up long enough. Hold up, hold up. Oh, that looked pretty good. That looked pretty good. We went for another lung shot. That should definitely bring him down. All right, so he was standing right here, and you can see that was definitely a vital hit. So that will take him down. And it looks like there's a non-vital hit there from the other one. So there should be two down right here and one down a little bit further away. All right, here's one down. Let's pick it up. This was a six hard, and that was actually the last one we took a shot at. He was broadside at 82 yards out. We didn't get the penetration. So it looks like this is lacking a little bit of penetration compared to the uh, Cape Buffalo. But that could have been a spine double lung shot right there. We did get a single lung hit. So make sure if you're trying to hit these water buffalo with a 20 gauge, make sure you're going for either the center or the lower part of the lung. Don't aim for the top or don't aim for the spine because as you can see, it is not penetrating very good at all. All right, here's another water buffalo. Let's pick it up. This was a male six hard as well. We brought this one down with one single right lung shot on him. So yeah, it's looking like a single lung or double lung shot will definitely take these down pretty efficient. And that I'm pretty sure is a diamond. It's a four easy, but look at the size of the horns on that thing. It definitely should be a smaller size diamond. So we're gonna go get the 243 and see if we can't come back and take a shot. All right, so we just went back, grabbed the 243, and we're all set. Now let's try and find, there he is. That should be the diamond. He's out there at about 200. Yeah, let's, you know what? How far is that? Well, we need to make sure we know the distance exactly on oh, this big guy, 230. All right, so I'll tell you what, we're gonna stay zeroed in for 300 in hopes of hopefully hitting the spine. 
All right, so I think that might be him right there. Yep, yeah, we got him. We got him. I was hoping that might have been a spine shot, but it looks like double lung will do. And if we could take one more. Oh, that's a red deer. 243 is not going to do too well on a red deer, I'll tell you that. I would love to be able to take a shot at another black buck, though. So if they stop or turn around or anything, that would be pretty nice. There we go. How'd that one do? <laughs> I guess that did pretty well because he literally just piled up right in front of us. Now, I don't want to mark this one. What I want to do is just run exactly right to it because we do have our dime potential black buck marked. So we'll be able to find him. And if we run straight, we'll be able to run right into this black buck here. And yep, here he is right here. This is the second one we took the shot at. I don't even know how big this is, to tell you the truth. Let's just pick it up. 21.0 gold, total score of 849. I don't even see how far away that was, but let's go over. Which way was it? This way. Okay. Let's go over and go take a look and see if this has the potential to be a diamond black buck. All right, here he is. We've been watching this thing for quite a bit of time now. We almost had him with the crossbow during a couple of streams. But we just took a shot now, and did we get him? Let's find out. He is a diamond. Barely a diamond. Because we made a double lung shot, but he's still a diamond. 26.8 score, total score of 952. I knew he had a lot of potential to be a diamond. And he's a black colored uh, black buck, so that's pretty awesome. This is our first four easy diamond black buck that we've gotten. And we took him out at 257 yards out. A double lung shot on him and a total score of 952 so he would have been 954 but we lost two percent on the quick kill on that still pretty awesome definitely made a nice hit oh wow we almost made a heart shot i was really anticipating on the bullet rising about four or five inches from that distance but apparently he was closer to 300 than we thought so it's a good thing we zeroed in for 300 because initially i was going to zero in for 160 and we probably would have missed this diamond black buck All right, now let's get back on those water buffalo and see if we can't track them down. I believe we have two water buffalo hit that should both be down right up here. And one is down right here. The other one should be not too far away. This was, I believe, the six hard. So let's pick it up. That was a seven very hard. This is actually one from the beginning or was this a different one? All right, so I'm pretty sure this might be our water buffalo from before. He didn't go quite down from that shot. Yep, it's definitely him. We went for a hard shot. Oh, we got good penetration one of those shots because the percentage is going down nicely. I was really hoping that first shot was going to get hard, but doesn't look like we did. All right, let's pick him up. And he scored 278. This is a completely different one. We keep trying to find the one that we took a shot at from before. We actually hit a little bit low on that. Not much. We got a single lung followed by a flesh hit, which took down this one. But we're still missing two water buffalo that I can't quite find just yet. All right, so we're trying to find our other two water buffalo we have hit, but we can't find them. What we did find, though, is a pretty nice seven very hard out here, and he's about 80 yards out. I think we're going to take a shot on him. Yeah, we'll be zeroed in for 80. So when he stops, we went for the center of the lung now. And we put three into him. We should have gotten at least one single lung hit. Followed by a couple of flesh, maybe another intestine hit. Yep, looks like we did get a vital hit. As you can see, it's pretty dark right now. It's 1900 at night. But that's because we're still trying to track down that other water buffalo that we had hit from before. Yep, vital hit. And looks like we might have gotten another vital hit on him. So hopefully he goes down a little bit quicker than I expect. And there he is right there. Yeah, he probably ran uh, like 300 yards. So he definitely ran a good ways. And we're not going to get any quick kill out of this. But at least we took him down. And let's take a look. You can actually see where we hit. 
Let's pick it up. And he scores 292. We did make a single lung hit. Looks like we hit the top left part of the lung there. I was trying to hit a little bit lower, but followed by two flesh hits. That would have been a running spine shot as well right there. If we were a little bit lower, we might have gotten two lungs or at least uh, two single lung hits into this water buffalo. But it looks like it still took him down. Three hits, one lung hit at 90 yards out. Took down actually one lung hit at 77 yards out. Took down this seven very hard water buffalo total score of 673. And with that, I think that's going to be a good way to end this video. We ended up getting a pretty cool diamond out of that and some pretty nice water buffalo with the 20 gauge. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. There he is. It's a mythical. And we dropped him. What a giant. Holy. Oh my god, that was incredible. Why couldn't it be a diamond though? Would have been absolutely insane if it was a diamond. He stepped out absolutely perfect. I thought he was a diamond. I'm shaking so bad right now.